Hello everyone! Welcome back to Roots of Pacha! Oh, we have our cute little bunny! Oh, we've been so busy lately. We have our full animal shed. We're considering a garden expansion. I think maybe we might even uh, start taking over the other field a little bit. Just so our animals can continue to have all the space they need up in this little starter area here. Either way, it is all very, very exciting. It's been, uh, it's been a good week. What can I say? Everything is looking up for a change. <laughs> Things have been going smoothly. It's great. I've been able to work on my game a little bit here and there and make a little bit more progress and I'm pretty excited about it. I cannot wait to actually get it to a point where I feel comfortable showing you all what it looks like, even though it is still very rough <laughs> in the early stages. <laughs> oh, but it's been good. It's been a lot of fun and a lot of hard work and definitely a lot of learning. I have a lot of, a lot of respect for game developers. What can I say? What they do is not easy. <laughs> it definitely takes a special kind of person to be able to do everything that is required. Even just, especially if they do not just like the game programming, but all of the graphics and stuff too, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, let's get some of these medicine plants moved over. We'll take the bones too, we might need them. And why don't we just keep the almonds as well? Get some space going in our inventory, my goodness. <laughs> Make sure we talk to all of our animals here and we have another tomato to harvest there. Okay, let's get a couple more things planted since we have some space. Okay, let's do some beets. We haven't planted any of those yet. Oh my goodness. It's really fun because the more I get into game development, the more I really enjoy looking at the games that I play with you guys and just seeing how they did things like their graphics, their NPCs, character portraits, like the whole kit and caboodle. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun getting to pay attention to that while I do these let's plays with you all. It's kind of like fun to play and explore and get to venture through everything with you all and then it's also a good learning thing for me so I can see what other developers have done and what I may or may not want to do. And then it's always fun because uh, it's like the second people hear that you are interested in game development or you're trying to make a game. <laughs> and. What they like to do, and I'm not kidding you, they do like to do this, is they start going off on ideas for different games or different things that you can put in your game. And uh, it it's quite overwhelming because I've had to tell my partner to just like slow down. <laughs> The ideas he has are great and fantastic, but I'm like, they are so beyond my current skill level. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, you need to dial it back. I'm like, a lot. You need to dial it back a lot. I'm like, I need to get like just easy little base functionality into the game. And once that's all done and it's all running well, that's when you start expanding the ideas. You don't... Uh, <laughs> set the bar a mile high and then try to shoot it because what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to do it and then you're going to get uh, very discouraged and not want to do it anymore and that's kind of not what I want to do. I want to very much enjoy game development and uh, learn as much as I can and try things out and you know it's all just a learning curve and I'm very excited for it. But I just had to keep my expectations small. So when I get to do something that's even so tiny, like you would think it's simple, but it's not. Like just tilling the ground and getting it watered and planting a seed. Like each each one of those things was such a big accomplishment for me. <laughs> it was like a little small victory. 
Okay, do we have anything that needs shipped? Oh yes, let's get these over. And I think we've kept enough of these now. And let's go dump some stuff back into our chest and keep on rolling. So yeah, it's been, I don't know, it's been a lot of fun. Trying out something new is always a good thing. Even if you stumble and fall on your face and oh my goodness, have I had coding blunders, but you know what, it's okay. <laughs> Everyone goes through it. No one starts something and they're phenomenal at it right off the get-go And there's comfort in that like you shouldn't you shouldn't hold yourself back from trying something new that you really want to do for fear that you're gonna fail like It's okay to fail because it's in failing those first few times and making those mistakes. That's what makes you better <laughs> And then once you do accomplish it, it gives you such a rush and such a good feeling that you just want to keep working away at it. And it's kind of what, what helps push you forward. Oh, hello, little animals. Oh, oh that must have been the one we released that's still happy to see us. <laughs> it's like, yay, I'm back out in the wild. <laughs> But yeah, what really blows my mind lately when I start up games and I start playing them is that I'm very aware that every tree, every little puddle here and piece of grass, that was deliberately placed there by someone. <laughs> it was planned and designed, even the bunny is just being right there in that little location. Like somebody decided that was the bunny spot. <laughs> It's pretty neat. Just the creativity and all the imagination that goes into it is like, it just blows my mind. And then that's something that I really have to work on training my brain around is to be very open-minded. Like I've kind of sat at my game and I'm like, well, where do we put these things? And I have to tell myself, I'm like, you know what? It actually does not matter where this tree goes. It really doesn't. <laughs> the point of it is, is just to place things around in a way that I'm happy with because honestly, there's no one to tell you that it's right or wrong. It's just wherever you want your creativity to go. If you want a blacksmith to still be awake at 2 o'clock in the morning, that is totally your call. <laughs> uh, the only limits you have to set are the ones you put on yourself. Okay, we were kind of at a dead end, aren't we? We're kind of waiting for a tool to be done. Oh, maybe we should check out the pyramid. Reese, we did get a tool going with you, didn't we? Hmm. Okay. I was maybe going to explore it in the mines a little bit, but I kind of think we reached a standstill in there. So I think what I'll do is I'll catch a couple fish. It won't take us long to use the energy that we have there. And then we should probably go track Acre down and see if she's got a tool for us. And if not, we can venture into the jungle and check out the pyramid. Very fun. Like, it's kind of cool because, like, even these little fishing mini games and stuff, like, somebody designed that. <laughs> and I just think it is so neat. Like, it's fun to play, it's enjoyable, and I don't know. Stardew Valley being made by one person and only one person, it blows my mind. I'm not quite sure how they managed to do it. Like that would have taken some real grit and determination. Just being able to create their own music, their NPCs, like all the dialogue in the game and to come up with all the different makers and how long everything takes. And I think the currency system is the part that really blows my mind. It's like, how do you decide how the economy in your game is going to run? Because, oh my goodness, 
What should this one item sell for? Could you imagine trying to decide all of that? Because then you'd have to go and test it all out and make sure it's not going to be easily exploited and... <laughs> oh, so much fun. With you venturing out to the savannah, I thought I should teach you how to make some traps. I don't know if you're like me, but I prefer to catch my own meat. Oh, okay. Just place them where you see footprints and check back in a day or two. A box trap, a bird trap, and what was that? A stone trap, I think. Oh, our little bunnies outside. Okay, we'll get rid of these poisonous mushrooms. Um, do we need to keep any okay, flavor thing? I think we can. <laughs> Our cute little bunnies having a nap out in the sun. I love it. Okay, we'll get those going up there. And what did we have, like two fish? Yeah. Okay, Iker, you're next on our list as we trip over the weeds. <laughs> it seems like no matter how hard we work, oh right, we are waiting for Crawl to finish her work area. That's what the holdup is. So she doesn't have a tool yet because we couldn't request it because that needs to get built first. I'm starting to remember now. <laughs> okay, let's go venture off into the jungle. And then if we still have a lot of time left in the day, we can probably have a couple snacks. Oh, you tread into the jungle. And maybe do a little bit more fishing so we have lots of supplies when we want to go back into the mines. Okay. Oh, so this one is fully done. One with the wild. So the lands of Pacha were bountiful. The waters of Pacha were bountiful. The plants of Pacha abounded. And the animals of Pacha abounded. You saw five herd animals. Oh, okay. Discovered five plants. Awesome. So we totally finished that one. Oh, look, it lit up and turned green. Oh, it turned into a statue. That's kind of cool. Earring of the Will. Okay. Max 20 stamina. That's what we have from our very beginning. Where did... Oh, there we go. Imbued with a power that increases your max stamina. Ho ho. Bind accessory. The strong energy of this accessory causes it to bind to you when equipped it. And you'll have to wait until tomorrow to take it off. Well, that's okay. I think we're okay with that. I did select it right. We're good. Okay. <laughs> I'm still a little paranoid. I feel like I have the controls a bit more under control. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Alrighty here. I've been actually tried to draw my first character portrait the other day and that was quite an experience too because uh, I'm very into the 2D pixel art games. I'm kind of debating if we should go to the ocean but that's pretty far away for this late in the day. Why don't we get rid of some of these weeds down here? Might as well, so we're not tripping on them when we have to go to our new plant area. Wow, I'm surprised we had that much stamina left. I was kind of expecting when we couldn't fish anymore that that was going to be, like, done. <laughs> Alright, proven wrong. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's do some more fishing, why don't we? So yeah, the character portrait actually went a little bit better than I thought, especially for like my first time ever trying it and I was just, uh, I don't know. I've done like a little bit of drawing here and there when I was younger, but I wouldn't say I was like a complete artist or anything like that. It's, <laughs> it's still a little raw and rough around the edges, but it was definitely better than I thought it was going to be off the start. Oh, this will be a good one. Don't scare away. <laughs> but I have taken like a little bit of some pixel art courses and stuff, so I was able to apply stuff that I'd learned in there. 
on my portrait drawing, which actually felt pretty good getting to use that so soon. Because I haven't quite decided if I want to go <laughs> full artsy on it and try to design my own tile maps and everything. I'm kind of, oh, lost the fish. Kind of wondering if that's going to be a bit too much for me to bite off and chew there. Because it takes a lot of time to do anything artsy for a video game. Oh, we're out of stamina already. That's okay. We can throw these two on the smoker and have an early night to bed, I think. I mean, of course, if you're an absolute game professional artist, you probably can do stuff way faster. But for a beginner just starting out, I... Uh, you spend quite a bit of time on it and it's not even like I'm trying to get it perfect or anything like that I'm just trying to <laughs> get it to look like something <laughs> so it's kind of funny how long you can spend monkeying around with just about anything here ah uh, yes let's go to sleep and start a new day <gasps> oh look at that the village is gonna start working on some lighting Oh wow, we got quite a bit of contribution points there, 883. You know, I think we have more than enough to get that larger belt so we don't have any more inventory problems, hopefully for the foreseeable future. Good morning, our little bunny. Squeeze it until it's, what was that? She has a new idea. Some fruits are easy to get juice from, but Tara thinks there's a way to press harder things too. Okay, new ideas going around. Okay. Jizu Vision is not the best at night. She's talking to the clan today to find a solution. Okay, so they're gonna start working on the lighting. Yes, everyone, the tool station is done. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look at that. Acre is going to have such a good time over there crafting all of our new, better tools. I cannot wait. And we have some smoked fish. I don't know if we're going to hold on to all of those fish or not. We might end up shipping a couple because they're not stacking. <laughs> Mainly because we're fishing in too many different locations. My bad. <laughs> but it's kind of fun getting to see all of the different varieties of fish. Oh, we have some more tomatoes ready today. Okay. Try to get these all watered quickly before our animals come pouring out of their little hut. <laughs> oh, whoops, go to water again. Man, our bucket is like way better than the water skin, but it still does not hold enough water. <laughs> Although I do understand because I cannot imagine how heavy that would be for our character to hold and have to carry every single day. We must have something planted there. Beets, right? I'm like, it doesn't look like it, but we can kind of barely see the little bit of a beet plant maybe on top of the tomato there. Okay, we could buy more seeds if we need to. I don't think we really need to. Do we dare expand the garden a little bit more? <laughs> now, if I'm brave, we could start planting more... Oh my god, I was going to say potatoes, but it's tomatoes. <laughs> oh, yeah, tongue-tied just a little bit. Too excited. This is what happens when I spend too long... Um, working on my video game, I get too excited. If I make progress, there's a lot of days where I don't make a lot of progress and it's like a little frustrating. Hey, we can look and see what we would need to do some upgrades. Wow, so our house would need 80 flint and 150 wood. Okay, that's for a medium hut. For a medium animal shed, we would need 30 flint and 50 plant fiber. I'm not sure what I would want to do first. Maybe in the animal hut, because we already know. We already know that there's other animals that we can be taming. Uh, there she is. 
oh no, you know what's going to happen? We're going to talk to her and then we're going to realize we don't have all of the goods that we need. Look at that, the boars are just taking over our garden. <laughs> Too funny. <clears throat> what might we need? I'm guessing we're going to need the hardwood. I don't actually know that for a fact, but we'll find out. We'll just grab a little bit of everything. I probably should have just talked to her. <laughs> Saved ourselves a trip. It's all good. All right, is she still over here? Yes. Okay, obsidian. And we definitely needed the axe if we want to go farther into the mines. Okay, five hardwood. I was actually thinking that was going to take more. Oh, the hammer takes more plant fiber. Okay. And that's still just a regular water bucket. Ooh, a sickle. Till three spots at a time. Okay, well, we know we need the axe without doubt, so that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we'll just get that going right away. Why don't we grab this flower? It can be used for medicine, and we should store a couple. I've mainly been dumping them into our little contribution bin, so <laughs> let's get going here. All right. All of our supplies can get put away. Oh my goodness, we are already down to 23 obsidian. Dun, 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 and the fiber can go in here. All right, so basically what I gathered from that is we need a ton of flint and a bunch more obsidian. So I guess we are maybe off to the mines here. I'll just try to get rid of some of the less stamina increasing stuff. <laughs> And that one. Okay. All right. I don't know what it is, but I go without talking for a little bit and then suddenly I start talking and it's like my voice just doesn't want to cooperate with me. My goodness. All right. We're going to get up to the mountains. We're going to grab as much obsidian and flint as we can get our little hands on. I wonder if that lady is going to be out here. She is not out here yet. I kind of think we maybe passed her on the way out here and she's... I feel like I saw her before we took off. So should we go track her down? See if we can get a bigger, bigger tool belt. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I feel like we saw her like somewhere in this little area as we were running by. Could have been wrong though. So many of them wear fur. Look at that. Look at this. Our sundial. So beautiful. Okay, she ah uh, there she is. Oh I wonder what she's doing. Interesting. Okay, having the lights around the village is going to be so pretty and helpful. Can we trade with you? Yes, let's get the biggest belt. Oh, I'm excited. And then, of course, there's more outfits that we could get to. That's going to look amazing. Okay, we definitely have tons of inventory space, which I'm very happy about. Because once we get even deeper into the mines, we're going to be starting to find some more minerals and gems. And of course, those fill up the inventory so quickly. <laughs> so to have more space is absolutely phenomenal. Now, I'm kind of intrigued and you guys will have to let me know. Because there are games that do things a little bit different. So there's games like Harvest Moon 64, where you start off and you have all of the inventory space you are ever going to get. No upgrades whatsoever. And then there's games like this one and Stardew Valley and a whole bunch of other ones where you can actually increase your inventory size. I guess Sunhaze, Sunhaven would be another one where you're, you kind of start with all the inventory space you're really ever going to get. So I'm curious, do you guys prefer games like Stardew Valley and this one where you get to increase the size of your inventory? Or do you prefer games like Sunhaven and Harvest Moon 64 where 
you're just going to start with all the inventory space you're ever going to get. <laughs> it's little decisions like that that are uh, always kind of interesting questions to ask and get other people's opinions on. I'm trying to even think about what my preference is. I think we'll go to this one. Because <clears throat> I'm like... I don't know. I think I feel good just about either way. Like, as long as the game's set up right, I don't feel like I get very annoyed with having a smaller inventory to start. Like, I don't mind it. In this one, we haven't, like, hit any big issues with inventory, really. Like, I mean, we've barely just filled it. We've been increasing our inventory and being able to increase it at a a pretty steady pace so it hasn't really impacted us neg negatively but uh, I don't know I think Stardew Valley is maybe a bit more difficult with the smaller inventory off of the start because there definitely is a wider variety of items that you can grab right off the bat so I think that one is a it's a bit more of a struggle but at the same time it's also part of the early game challenge too which I also kind of like because it's kind of like part of the difficulty setting where you really have to plan around how you're going to efficiently manage your inventory <laughs> in the early game until you get spoiled with your bigger inventory so I don't know like I mean they there's pros and pros and cons to both like I mean if you start with an inventory size and you reach a point in the game. Like, I mean, I guess like Sunhaven where we're having three different locations and every location has kind of like its own stuff. It's uh, maybe a little bit more stressful that you can't update your inventory at that point because you're trying to manage three different locations or more. Oh, don't see any of the goodies here. Yeah, I don't know, hard to say. Like, I mean, Harvest Moon 64, I never, never really bothered me at all. Like, I definitely would fill up the inventory, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a huge deal. Here we go. Freaking more boulders. But yeah, it's really cool, like, all the things that you pick up with game design because when we hit these rocks that's little tiny particle effects that are built into the game to do that every time you hit the rock which is pretty neat oh look at all the obsidian i think we hit the jackpot like right here <laughs> And this is going to be the fun part because we've ventured so far into these mines. Um, you know what? I think we'll just eat that singleton one there. We've ventured so far into the mines and I know we've come across one of the glyphs before. <laughs> which we are probably going to need the information for. I think it was grains that we were needing for that one. Because eventually we're going to come across a totem that is going to need that grain to be offered to it <laughs> so then it becomes the matter of remembering where you saw it and what it was i mean i guess if you remember what was on it you don't necessarily need to know where it is but uh yeah that always gets fun in a hurry <laughs> that's where it almost needs to be like uh maybe like a little memory notebook or something although notebooks really wouldn't have been a thing when this game, in the time period this game was made, well, it's not really set in a specific time period per se, but uh, the effect that they're going for, there wouldn't have been notebooks around. Although we can paint on pots in this game, so <laughs> maybe we could uh, paint pots with our little clues on them. Okay, wow, we got a ton of ton of obsidian. We maybe should have went um, into the earlier sections 
of the caves just to get more flint. But that might be a tomorrow plan if our obsidian axe isn't complete yet. I think we're going to go outside and do a little bit of fishing, kind of restock our smoked fish. Just to make sure that when we want to do a deeper dive in the mines, we can uh, go full blast in there. Always lots of fun. All right, why don't we eat our little ocean fish here? Since we mostly fish up here, it'll keep it so that our fish will continue to stack, which of course is always a bonus. <laughs> I mean, we do have the bigger inventory now, so it's not like that big of a deal, but it is nice to have as much space as possible. You never know when you're going to need it. Especially when it comes to having to harvest all those crops when they're fully grown. Like this morning, we totally ran out of space. But it wasn't that big of a deal because we had our storage chest right nice and close. There we go. Dun dun dun. Hello, fish. Yeah, I have to say, I think this area is definitely like the most relaxing. You can kind of hear the water running. It's just a beautiful little pond that we fish in. Oh, look at that. It doesn't have three bars anymore. It has two. I think we've increased our knowledge so well with the hammers that uh, they're faster to catch now, which is really cool because definitely a thing. No more stamina. Okay, it is late enough. They don't think we'll eat anything. Like, look, we got to listen to that waterfall the whole time we were fishing. It's just very peaceful in that fishing location. I like it. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, it's all fine and dandy as long as you don't have to go to the bathroom, I suppose. <laughs> Sound of running water and all. I don't know. I still find it peaceful. All right. Oh, I forgot we had the extra inventory slot. I'm like, what's going on? So what quality is this one? Better quality. Okay. And that's of course going to be fun because the more quality that we get, the higher different, the different levels of quality mean more more areas, or not more areas, more inventory space that those are going to take up. So it's really good that we got our upgrade going when we did. All right, let's throw the mushrooms into the little contribution bin here. I don't think we've really donated. Okay, we did do a little bit. That's good. I'm like, did we do any at all? Sometimes it's hard to remember. <laughs> oh, our little bunny's still out and about. Well, I hope he's having fun. Okay, so it's kind of interesting because while they're working on the village lighting, we're not going to get to see the new clan, um, big plan that they've got going on. We have to wait for them to finish the village lighting and then that next level of whatever it is they're going to start working on around the village pops up. Okay, so we actually got over 100 contribution points. That's way better than I was thinking we were going to get. Look at that, we're climbing right back up there, which is good because if we want to expand our hut or the animal shed, we need it. <laughs> Hello, little bunny. Okay, look at that, all of our fish nice and done. And now back to the watering. Now, had I talked to the person that was maybe going to get this new watering idea? Oh, with the pots. Yes. Did we not have everything we needed for that? Uh, this one. Reese had the idea. View the idea. Fur. We are waiting on the fur. Okay. Because I think that might be one of the new elements that they've added into this game for like more early game stuff. So I'm really 
excited to see if it is. I'm pretty sure that it is. I don't recall seeing that one before. Dun, 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 look at us go. And top it up again. Look at that. We're just like racing around just <laughs> taking care of all of our stuff. We should probably check inside our animal shed to make sure there's nothing that we need to clean up. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, animals. <laughs> It looks like they need more feed in here, too. Okay, none of you are sick, are you? Because that would be terrible. Oh, you need to be milked. Okay, let's get our little milker here. So we're basically just waiting on the boars to get their fur back so we can clip it. Because we only have two out of three. And we were gonna go put more food in there. Little feed bin there. And that would be because they had the rainy day the other day. The animals will stay inside. Okay, that one is okay, right? You're okay? You're healthy? Good. <laughs> kind of scaring me just laying on the ground there. I'm like, you could be sleeping, you could also be sick. <laughs> Uh, no description needed. <laughs> Love it. Okay, let's get some things into our little contribution bin. And then we need to go and water our other little garden area. There we go. They can have the, they can have the poop. <laughs> they can use it for fertilizer. Are you finished? I'm so glad we have Ada. I have no idea what to do when our bodies need fixing. Aww. <laughs> She's an older lady. I wonder if she has like an apprentice or someone that is trying to learn from her at all. Because it would not be good if something happened to her and her knowledge of healing was just lost. It's kind of interesting how you can lose that kind of valuable inf inf blah, 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 information over the generations. <laughs> Okay, are we all good here? It looks like we're good here. Don't think I'm forgetting anything. I think we're gonna go grab ourselves some more flint. I think that'll be the focus of our day today, is just getting that flint all collected. I'd really like to get our small animal shed upgraded to a medium because I would like to go back to the savanna and start friending some of the animals there because we have quite a few options. We have the bison and the ostriches and I can't remember what the other one was. I don't know if it's like an alpaca or a llama, but it's something kind of along those lines anyway that we could also friend and have live in our barn too. Oh, there's a cute little gray bunny too. Oh, they're just so adorable. So yeah, we could start working on getting more animals. And the reason why I'm pushing so hard to get the animals, and of course one of each gender is for when we can start doing some animal breeding, then we'll just be all set up and ready to go for that. I think it'll be fun to breed ourselves some animals and try to get some really nice, good stats going for them. Oh, that potato's not ready yet. <laughs> I do still love that uh, the seeds have their own little inventory area so they don't take up our space. And the tools, like, that definitely does make the smaller inventory bar a lot more manageable. Grab that too. Okay, Flint, we are coming for you. Uh, I think we'll just maybe start here. I think it's right after this room we start seeing the Flint, so I think that'll be a good spot. Look at that. Lots of Flint just right for the picking, and an axe just isn't gonna cut it. <laughs> okay. Now, the more of this we can grab, the better, because it looks like we needed a ton of it for the shed. Well, not nearly as much for the shed, mainly more for our house than anything else, but 
if we grab enough for both, that would be fantastic. Although we might... I feel like I usually end up with two large animal sheds at least in this game because of all the different types of animals that you can tame and breed because of course once we start breeding we need need some space for the baby animals to go. <laughs> so we got to make sure we have enough room for everyone. So we're definitely going to have to get ourselves a second shed at least. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Our little offerings are still all nicely placed there. <laughs> the hammer just glows. Poor little thing. It's probably going to get all gross and rotted. <laughs> like, I don't know about that one. Dun, dun, dun. Did we have another doorway out this way? Or was this the dead end? I think this was maybe the dead end. I'm like, I could look at the map, but then I'd have to fumble around trying to figure out how to reopen the map with the controller again. <laughs> Probably could just use a keyboard shortcut, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> oh, nice dark room. I'm not seeing any flint over here. That's probably not the way we want to go. Let's just warp to another area, shall we? A very dark room, sure. There we go, we're back on the flint trail. I don't get mixed up in these mines at all. <laughs> of course I do, constantly. Oh right, I remember this room. We haven't really figured out how to get that torch going because we can't break boulders while we have our torch with us. Okay, maybe we should continue to explore see if we can find anything that we can light over here. Look at that. We can light that torch. Okay. A little bit of flint and of course we can't get up there. But you know we did light an area so if we can get over there later that means we will be able to break the stones that are lit up there and we can keep on traveling and I think we can get there if we go up through here. There we go. Okay. Now, back into the dark we go. <laughs> Can we light that other torch if we go down this way? Oh, no. He's kind of stuck in a dead end. I'm hiding from Glip. Okay, little buddy. I'm not quite sure why they feel like they need to hide from each other, but I'm sure they have their reasons. <laughs> Look at that, we're just like wandering around in the dark. <laughs> no idea where we're going. Oh my goodness, it's such a bendy, windy road. Oh, can we get to the other torch? Ah! So now if we go back around the other way there, <laughs> we'll be able to break those boulders. I kind of feel like we're in a maze, so we just, you know, how that saying goes, if you just put your hand on one side of the wall and you just keep following it around, <laughs> you'll eventually find your way out. Sometimes that is definitely the logic I need to use for these things, right? That way took us in a circle. Nope, that way was the way out. <laughs> Yep, totally, when I get lost in this game, that is my logic. Just uh, follow the wall all the way around and eventually we will find our way back out. <laughs> it's just so dark and our torch only lights so far, so... You know, it's kinda... You either gotta remember exactly where you were and where you're going or you're kind of gonna be reaching dead ends like crazy. Oh, we're gonna start running out of energy here. Okay, we'll have a couple little snacks. And back to breaking we will go. I'm excited. We can finally explore a new area. We haven't been over here before. 
Oh, back into the dark. <laughs> okay, another torch. Oh, what's this? A link to the past. Your ancestors contribute to the clan. 500 contribution points added. Oh, neat. Okay, well, it ended up being a dead end, but that's pretty cool. We figured out the little puzzle there, so good for us. And I think we need to go this way. Oh, it's starting to get late again. It's already 8 p.m. That was definitely not the right way. Hold on to that torch. Yeah, we wouldn't want to drop it or we would be completely lost. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. Okay, let's grab this flint over here. I have to say we are doing well at the flint collection and we found that new area so that was kind of cool we got like a nice little bonus contribution points going through there does a little owl do anything oh so i just about try to smash it my bad <laughs> okay starting to see the obsidian again but we also still have the flint so that's good we can grab some of both i'm sure we're gonna need it Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Just mining away. Oh, until we can't mine anymore, apparently. <laughs> Big, huge pillar there. I'm gonna have to start looking for a way to head back here pretty soon. Okay, let's see if we can squeeze through here. Ah, okay, here's our way out right here, which is good because we're out of energy anyway. And it's late enough that I don't think we'll bother with any fishing. I think we'll just head straight back and go to bed. And hopefully tomorrow our new tool will be completed. And if we're really lucky, the boars will have some fur so we can get that idea on the move there too. Oh, nice and dark. Oh, hello, waterfall. Okay, I'm kind of curious. Oh, we got 44 flint just added today alone. That is very exciting. I don't know how much I felt like we had, but I didn't think it was nearly that much. <laughs> so we'll take it. Oh yeah, we should we should throw some stuff in here. Maybe the bad mushrooms. I think we've got a couple of those. I'm like, we're starting to run low on fish, but then I'm like, oh, we have like seven of the smoked rocks or the hammers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Getting the hammers and the rocks all confused now, apparently. There we go. Nice, clean inventory. We're good. Let's see what kind of excitement tomorrow will bring. And yes, let's go to sleep. What do we have today? Oh, they're going to work on laundry next. And 117 contribution points. We will take it. And then, of course, we got those 500 points for finding the hand-painted wall in the caves, too, which is pretty neat. Hello, little bunny. Uh... Yes, our axe is officially finished. That is so exciting. Now, the real trick is, can I remember what she wanted <laughs> for the, not the axe, the hammer, for the hammer upgrade? <laughs> I know we needed plant fiber and obsidian, and I'm going to assume it was more hardwood as well. Oh, looks like we have t more tomatoes ready to pick. I think I shipped the last couple without actually putting them in the solar dryer, which probably wasn't my smartest idea ever, because I think we actually get more points if we put them on the solar dryer. No more water. <laughs> 
and we have our sea kale starting to grow so that's pretty exciting too oh there we go all right tomatoes let's go now these are gonna grow all spring and summer there we go more plant knowledge there we go they still haven't quite caught up with the carrots but i'm sure by the end of summer they will how's everyone doing oh <laughs> we like it when we have ha very happy animals Okay, let's get this area watered. Oh, we have quite a few plants that are really coming in very well. Our carrots are going to be done soon. And I'm pretty sure that was garlic that we planted down there. It looks like it's doing well. Now let's go grab all the supplies that we're going to be needing for this hammer. <laughs> Okay, so we were thinking obsidian, hardwood, and plant fiber. I'm going to assume that she's kind of standing over here like she usually is first thing in the morning, but we'll see. There she is. Here's your new tool. I made it, so it's going to last for years. Look at that. She's got two flowers for us already. That took no time at all. Do you think she just absolutely adores us because we are getting her to make all these tools? It's a funny thought. Sometimes you have to break a rock to make it stronger. <laughs> oh, that is a little funny. Okay. Oh, we just needed regular wood. Okay, we will be right back. Don't go too far. <laughs> Okay, regular wood. Oh my goodness, we are short on regular wood there. I'm actually surprised that we didn't need hardwood. I was fully expecting to need hardwood, but uh, it's not quite that bad. Oh, our poor little bunny is just like <laughs> trying to have a sleep. Hello, little bun bun. Oh, follow, fetch. What does fetch do? It doesn't seem to trust you enough. Oh, okay, so it won't quite follow us yet either. So once it gets its heart levels up, it'll follow us first. And then when it's almost at, when it's at eight, it'll be able to fetch for us. Oh, that's neat. I wonder if fetching's new. I remember that it could follow me before, but I don't think it could fetch for me. Okay, back in here you will go, wonderful. All right, I am very excited to go test out this obsidian axe and see what the caves have in store for us as we get deeper into... I just want to check and see if there's any other ideas. Oh, right, we need to talk to her. We should maybe talk to her and see what she is needing. <laughs> uh, I think she's usually in this hut. There she is. My arms are so tired. I've been juicing fruit all day, but it got me thinking, what else could we juice if we had stronger arms? I have an idea on how to do it, but I could use your help getting some materials. Okay, so, oh man, we need two tomatoes and we'll have to chop more wood. We should have enough stone. Okay, we'll talk about it later. It won't take long for the tomatoes to be ready again. <laughs> Can we quickly snatch them out of the solar dryer? <laughs> this is what we get for procrastinating on our little idea quest. <laughs> oh, it's all good. At least on the bright side, we have a much better axe, so that wood will not take long. Oh, look at us. We're just running along. Should probably grab this. It's like easy contribution points now that we have the extra inventory space. So I should really just make a point of actually stopping and picking it up. Oh, we could get some more beans. Oh, 
I like how antisocial I seem to be in this game. <laughs> it's not at all because I dread having to pronounce the character names. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. Hello, little boars. Oh, and one big boar. Oh, look at the little baby just over here by itself. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh, I see. I see the potato that is still taunting us. The fact that it is just standing there and we can't grab it drives me crazy. <laughs> it's like, it's a free seed. I want it. <laughs> and how's everyone over here? Oh, all of the nice little wolves that we could tame. Whoops. Oh my goodness. We're not trying to attune, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just trying to pick up the goodies so we can make our way to the caves. Okay, now let's see if we can actually get back to our dead end here. <laughs> see if I can remember where it is. Definitely the problem with exploring around in here too much. I forget where everything is that we were needing to work on. And oops, let's do the hammer here. Oh, perfect. This is the room. I'm like, we were just there yesterday. Okay, we should have no problems now. <laughs> Look at that, five hardwood just for doing that. And of course now we'll need our hammer again. Oh my goodness. The flying always makes me nervous because I'm like, what if I get lost as I'm flying around? There's no direction arrows to tell me where to go. So we're kind of just flying blindly here. I'm assuming that we're going to run into something somewhere. Oh, here we go. Oh, check this out. That is a completely different colored area here. Okay, we can land right here. I'm like, oh my goodness, is our hammer not going to be strong enough? <laughs> I'm kind of just waiting for that because I know it's going to happen at some point. And then, of course, our signal that we have a cave door is different because now we get the flowers which I think is really pretty it kind of reminds me of like a jungle type area and more plant fiber of course good thing we need a little bit of everything I do like these caves they're very colorful they're not, uh, they're not too bland and boring. Now, I can't remember if these are the caves that end up going to the beach. I wouldn't be surprised if they were the ones that went to the beach just because we have so much moss and moisture in here. Because I would think the ones that go to the savannah would probably be... Oh no! Look at that, we need a stronger tool. <laughs> oh, that's highly unfortunate. Well, we knew it was coming, we just didn't know when. I was hoping we'd get a little deeper before it was like, yeah, your your hammer's not gonna not gonna make it. We're stalled yet again. <laughs> well, we got to go a little bit a little bit further. Our poor flint hammer just is not up to the challenge. <laughs> and we're out of stamina anyway, so there we go. Kind of a bit of a diagonal flight. I'll have to try to remember that for next time. All right, through the door we go. And back to warping our way out. Here we go. It's early enough in the day. I think we might just do a little bit more fishing. Get ourselves some extra energy for when that 
nice obsidian hammer is done. I'm really glad we ordered that this morning and didn't wait on it at all. <laughs> okay, what do we have for fish? Just the couple in here. Oh, we should probably eat the dried fruit too. There we go. And let's do some catching here. What fish will we see today? I really like that the hammers are so easy to catch now. <laughs> the fact that they went from three bars to two, like, no problem. That is some easy snackage for us. <laughs> Oh, we got a better quality Luna's. Oh, definitely a hammer. We'll take it. I'm kind of wondering if we're gonna be catching like a lot more of the better quality, or I don't even know how it went. The orange was better quality. These are good quality. So good and then better. Oh my goodness. I'm like, this fish is kind of all over the place here. No, we're so close to catching it. <laughs> Don't deny us now. No more stamina. Oh, we can fix that. We need more contribution points and more energy anyway. It's it's all good. I don't hear the waterfall as much, so I wonder if I'm just... Probably turn my sound down too low now. I'm like, I don't hear it as much at this point in time, but I'm like, maybe we're just not close enough. Oh, we got another better quality. That's exciting. So maybe we'll stop catching the lower quality hammers now and it's just gonna be all better ones going forward. Yikes. <laughs> Sneaky fish. That one just about got away. I was so ready for it to be like, yep, yeah, we can catch it now. <laughs> We must be getting really good at fishing. We're getting a lot of the better quality fish now. There we go. Oh, yep. Even better quality hammer. I like it because what happens is with the good and the better quality, we're gonna get even more contribution points and that's always helpful. Okay, was that the last time? Yeah. So look at that, we got four of the better quality and two of the good quality. Like, I think that's fantastic. The fact that the quality is going up, like we're not gonna complain about that. That is, that is amazing. Dun, dun, dun. So let's quickly get all of our wonderful little fish on our smoker here. Dun, dun, dun. It's so far away. <laughs> okay, and I'll throw all four of these ones over here. And, oh, we have two of those. Okay, we'll just have to throw the one on in the morning, I guess. Might as well clear up our inventory. And it looks like we can ship those um, dried tomatoes. Oh, we hadn't kept any parsley yet. Or did we throw it in the other chest? Haha, -ha, we threw it in the other chest. That's funny. <laughs> we'll worry about that another day. <laughs> All right, send dried tomatoes into the contribution bin. Uh, you're just a regular one. We're not going to ship it until it's smoked so we can get some extra points there. And then, oh, right, 
<laughs> okay, we could cook something, but I think I want to wait until we have like a little hammer or something that's not as big on the contribution points because I'm worried that we'd lose some at this point. All right, let's go to sleep. Oh, laundry is almost halfway there already. And we got 189 contribution points just for those seven sun-dried tomatoes. And that's at the worst quality we can get. So awesome. All right, everyone. I think that's going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.